What's going on, Niner Nation? It's homecoming week. Who's excited? Oh yeah, homecoming. Woo! We're real excited here on the show. We even, uh, even brought props to the show this week. Enough of that. We're a bit of short-staffed around here, uh, unfortunately, but it won't stop us from delivering a hard-hitting, jam-packed, totally awesome episode of Panning for Gold. Garrett is here. PFG intern Brendan Ferguson is not here. But I am here, and Panning for Gold 3.0 starts right now. We have a lot to get to on the beat this week where we talk football signing day, softball season kicks off this weekend, uh, homecoming week of events including the alumni basketball game, all of that and much, much more. Cue up that beautiful beat bumper. I want to give props to our weatherman Garrett Beatable. He's uh, He's also acting as our cue card holder and our cameraman for this week's episode of Panning for Gold. He is multitasking. He's very good at that. I think I finally caught up on some sleep after last week. What a tremendous week it was, right? The 49ers signed their first class of football players. Let that sink in for just a minute. We signed football players. That's, uh, that's really big news and great news uh, for all of Niner Nation. The signing day Chalk Talk event went off uh, without a hitch in front of 250 plus members of Niner Nation. Uh, you may have already seen this piece from last week uh, about the event, but here's 49er football coach, uh, head coach Brad Lambert talking about the first class of players and the great night that, it in, that ensued up there in the salons. Well, I mean, what we're going to do is just kind of introduce the class to everybody. You know, it's a chance for us to finally talk about them, let our fans get to know who's coming to Charlotte, and that's the whole point for the evening, and let our assistant coaches get up and talk about them. They were so involved in this recruiting process, and let our fans kind of, you know, look into uh, who our coaches are and our coaching staff, and so it's a kind of a double, we're trying to accomplish a couple of things tonight. Well, it's, it's extremely exciting for us because we've been a whole year now without players, and that's why we do what we do, and so it just was a great day for us yesterday, and uh, we're just excited. There was a little bit of relief yesterday, like we made it, we finally got here, and a lot of work, a lot of hours have went into this, and so, uh, it was a great day for us yesterday. Yeah, yeah, basically alumni, friends of our program and our university and faculty. You see a little bit of everybody here tonight, so it's going to be a good event. There's some students here, our student body president, I just saw him come in, so there'll be a little everybody here. Our staff, some of our wives are here, so it'll be good. Well, what we're going to do is try to, uh, we're going to try to show a little video clip of each guy as we talk about them, so, you know, they can start to see who they were in high school and, and kind of player they were, you know, uh, videos out there, but we just kind of wanted to be able to talk about them and, and introduce that video as we talk about each guy individually. Yeah, I, I really was excited about it because I, I thought I knew who it was going to be, and sure enough, it was. You know, Will Thomas wanted to be first. He just, when I went to see him, he wanted to be the first one, and sure enough, he was. So that was exciting. That was a, finally a relief. And, and then once compliance put their stamp on it, it became real. You know, finally had our first 49 Yeah, no question. we got to finish out our staff, finish out our facility, uh, you know, get these guys admitted into school and all, all the paperwork that you have to go through now. And, and we'll get them here August 20th and, and get them. If you missed any of the football video content from last week, check out charlotte49ers.com and, of course, charlotte49ers.tv for all of that. We transition from football to softball. Our weatherman, Garrett Beatonball, is actually going to have to do some work this week because the 2012 softball season starts this weekend at home on Saturday when the team welcomes in Delaware and Presbyterian. Play con continues 
on Sunday afternoon for a brief preview of the 2012 campaign. We uh, head down to the softball complex to chat with Coach DeVos and a couple of the players about this weekend and the 2012 season. Check it out. Like, as you said, I'm beyond excited. Probably out of my three years, this is probably the most excited I've been for a season so far. I just feel like we have so much potential this year. And just thinking about games, like someone in my classes today asked me if I was excited for this weekend, and I just couldn't even contain like smiling because I'm just so excited to start playing and to start beating up on some teams. <laughs> I don't think we've ever really had a rebuilding year. It's just a matter of that we were able to bring in a lot of a lot of talent in a big group, uh, a group that needed to fill a lot of spots for us. And sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. And this group, as eight freshmen, they've given us the whole package, um, proving that they can play at this level from day one. And that just rewards us and said, hey, our recruiting was right. And so with that, yeah, we'll put a lot of them on the field at one time. Um, you know, we just had, we've had changes in our team and the, you know, the turnover or what happened and graduation and so forth. But I don't feel that we've missed a beat. I just feel that, you know, we've got one up that nobody really knows what Charlotte's all about. Well, of course we want the win, but um, it's kind of just see where, how we're mended together and how well of a team we are since the fall. I feel like the fall was a kind of, we kind of had to see where everybody would be playing at, but now it's go time, so we're excited. But our freshmen are awesome, so I feel like we're just going to go out there. A lot of bombs. <laughs> A lot of hits, a lot more hits than um, the past, I feel like. I have really high expectations for all of our young girls as well as our, you know, all the people coming back. Um, we've all been working really hard at practices and I really, really think that we're gonna come out just as strong as we, as we have been when we had all these older girls. Um, nobody's gonna know what's coming for them. I think you're gonna see a lot of offense. I really do, that's, and that's what we're banking on. Um, we know what our pitching staff can do, but it's a matter of, you know, how well can they do it all the time? And that's just a product of being young. Okay, so if there's any place on the field you don't want to be young is in the pitching circle, but it has to happen sometime. Um, but I think our offense is exciting. I think it's, you know, it brings, we're quick, um, we're athletic, and, you know, we've got more people who can hit the long ball than we've ever had. Best of luck to the 49ers softball team uh, this weekend, hoping for a 4-0 start to this season. We'll check on the weather for this weekend in just a bit, but first, some more headlines. It is homecoming week, as we mentioned at the top of the show. PFG runs on Thursday, so by the airing of this splendid show, many of the events will have come and gone, but uh, everything culminates, of course, on Saturday afternoon when the men's basketball game versus Rhode Island at 2 p.m. inside Halton Arena. Parades, tailgating, alumni meet and greets, homecoming king and queen are going to be crowned. A tremendous uh, whole week of events. And just think, you know, pretty soon, 2013, we'll be doing all of this around a football game in the fall. You can't look at that stadium and not get excited about that. Check out homecoming.uncc.edu. Again, it's homecoming.uncc.edu for a full list of what's happening on and around campus. And we will see you at the game Saturday afternoon. In other homecoming news, the men's basketball alumni game will also take place on Saturday at 11.15 a.m. inside Halton Arena. It's open to the public. Swing on by, catch up with the 49ers of yesteryear. Former players scheduled uh, to be in attendance include D'Angelo Alexander, Mitchell Baldwin, Byron Dinkins, Jarvis Lang, Lou Massey, Tremaine Gardner, just to name a few. I saw the list this morning and uh, there's uh, the who's who. It's coming back to Halton Arena, so be sure if you have some time, 11:15, swing on into Halton Arena. It's free. It's open to the public, and uh, you can catch that alumni game uh, free of charge at 11:15 on Saturday afternoon. I would definitely, again, encourage you to swing by. Should be a lot of fun. We have a lot more to get to here on PFG, but first we have to take a short pause for a message from our sponsors. Become a member of the Bojangles Junior 49ers Club today. Kids 13 years of age and under are eligible to sign up and receive great Junior 49er Club benefits. Join today and help Norm the Niner cheer his favorite Charlotte teams to victory. And also check out the 49ers Gold Card, a great family ticket option that includes four tickets to all men's soccer, women's soccer, volleyball, and women's basketball games on one convenient season ticket. Log on to charlotte49ers.com for more information or call the 49ers ticket office at 704-687-4949. Scholarships are an important part of the university campus, and alumni at UNC Charlotte have the responsibility to help support this initiative. 
we can all display with pride the UNC Charlotte license plate, knowing that $15 of the cost goes directly back to the University Scholarship Fund. You can also support scholarships through the Brick and Tile campaign. State your claim at uncharlottealumni.org. And go Niners! Back here on Panic for Gold, where we have no friend of 49er this week, I know you can insert the collective size from the viewing audience right here. We will make it up to you, though, I promise you. Friend of 49er will be back next week, and we'll be joined by 49er baseball player Ross Steedley. That's right, Ross Steedley will be our friend of 49er guest next week. You may remember him. Uh, he was one of the hosts from the Basketball Madness event back in the fall. You also may remember him because he's a pretty good baseball player on the diamond to boot. But uh, Ross the Boss will join us. If you have a question for him, be sure to tweet us at Panning for Gold 3. You know the Twitter address. Uh, tweet us uh, your question, get on the show, and Ross the Boss will join us next week. Certainly excited about that friend of 49er guest. I can't even imagine the questions that we're going to get for him. After a week off, he is refreshed. He recharged his batteries. He is ready to deliver the best weekend weather update he has ever given. Softball starts at home this weekend. Baseball starts at home next weekend. Two signs of spring, but we all want to know, will the weather say springtime as well? Let's find out. He is here, our weekend uh, weather update with our own PFG meteorologist, Garrett Biedenbaugh. What's uh, the weather going to be like here in the QC this weekend? Hi there, AJ. Yeah, we've got our batteries recharged. We're ready to go. We're ready to give that first crucial forecast for you this weekend as softball gets going on Saturday and Sunday. Baseball next weekend, so we'll be excited about that as well. So for this weekend, we'll be a little bit cooler than we've been seeing the past couple of weeks. We have an Arctic cold front coming our way, which is kind of what we should be having uh, this winter, but we haven't had it yet. So uh, Friday, rather, in the Charlotte region, we'll have upper 50s for our highs, so not too cold yet. but. That cold front makes its way even deeper into the south for Saturday and Sunday. We'll have temperatures on Saturday only reaching around 50 degrees if we make it that high. And on Sunday, only 45 degrees. So if you're going out to softball this weekend, make sure you bring that uh, nice jacket for you. You will need it. And that's a check of your weekend weather update. AJ, it is going to be a nice shot of winter here in the Queen City for this weekend. Yeah, absolutely excited about softball, but uh, basketball as well here at home. It's the homecoming game. Yes, homecoming basketball. You'll need the jacket for that as well. I mean, you're coming out to Halton Arena, it's going to be quite chilly when you leave that comfortable 72 degrees. There will be, be some tailgating going on Saturday oh, yes, morning yes, yes. as well, so we're certainly excited about that. And hey, think 2013, we'll be doing around a football game. Football, yeah, that's going to be a really exciting. I'll be coming back as an alumni then, so that'll be a whole different dynamic. Yeah, you can't help when you drive past that football stadium. It just uh, sends some jolts of excitement through your body. Uh, if you're if you're a, a Niner fan and a member of Niner Nation, uh, baseball season two next week. Uh, baseball season, uh, yes. Down there, our PA announcer for baseball. Yeah, so. give me a holler up there. You know, heckle the PA announcer. It's always fun. I'm certainly excited about that uh, baseball season getting started next Friday, and we'll be down doing a, a remote. Yes. The weather will be on remote uh, remote site down at the baseball stadium next week on the show. Yeah, we'll be looking at that nice green grass that old Cass Ferguson's got going right now. <laughs> yeah, well, give a big shout out to Cass. Oh, yeah. Got to give a shout out to him. But uh, your Twitter handle is at WX Garrett. Show's Twitter handle, handle is at Panning for Gold 3. Give us both a follow and uh, we'll check you next week.